In this video, we're going to talk more about that index page and give you the answer to your homework. But before I do that, I want you to add this line before save self email equals email down case to your to your org contacts model because this will make your emails case insensitive. Because we're making the login, the, we're making the username, the email, that has to be unique. So we can't have someone with the same email. And if we're case sensitive, then a capital, a capitalized email and a lowercase email are the same, are, are different things. But we don't want that. We want them to be the same thing. So this before save self email equals email town case makes the, makes the email unique so that if it's a capitalized email or a lowercase email, they're the same thing. So I just want you to add, wanted you to add that to your, to your org contacts model. And you can see that there are several models that I have changed or contacts, type order fee, type category, type contact, type fee, type position, type tax. Now, I'm not going to go through all of them, but I did or I will include a zip file with all the changes and all the all, in the models in a, in a compressed zip file. So you can download it at in my videos where you can find it in my description boxes. But other than that, going back to your homework. Now, if you tried to to um, include well first first of all we need to go to our sidebar and you might have this now before our sidebar before our changes to our sidebar what we get is this this post items will go nowhere so if if I click it it will just stay in the same place so to make that change all we have to do is go to line 27 and make it org person path so we'll just make it org or org products path. We'll just make org products path. Go refresh the page. And now if we click on org products, it will lead us to that index function. But it's giving us an error. And that's probably because the code I gave you is actually not working that well according to my notes. So what I want you to do here is I want you to add several lines or I want you to add two lines. Contact, we're going to find our contact. We're going to find out where this person is. And using this contact, we're going to find out which, which, which country he is in. And we're going to assign that to the variable country. And looking at our countries table, there's something called the currency code. And that's what we're going to use. We're going to go to this session currency ISO code. And we're going to replace that right now with at country currency code. So by doing that and re refreshing the page, it should give us something. But going back to our index .html .erb, I might have made a little bit of a typo here with available quantity. I uploaded it with available quantity and that's not right. We want it to be quantity. So add that extra T in and it should work. It should work as promised and this would be the listings of all the products for sale. So this is all the products that I've listed for sale and you can see that hot dogs was one of them here. And if we click there, it'll go to our edit page as promised. So that's pretty much it. It's a really easy homework, and I hope you did it. Other than that, please rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, then you can leave that in the comment box below, and I'll answer them as quick as I can. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.